I would say it's weird from La Perche to pick Arabia because it's a uh, uh, comfortable terrain for Clemens to play yeah, on but for Arabia. Both of them, I think. Look at the random eight civs that were banned Huns, Mongols, <laughs> Tatars, Franks, Portuguese. <laughs> wow! Sure. A lot of CA Sicilians, I don't really understand. It's a random ban. The, the the left and right bands are random bands. I guess I should put a uh, text there. Oh, yeah, okay. The middle Why four. Are you doing this AI? <laughs> the middle four are their bands. So Clemens banned Hindustanis and Georgians, and the Posh banned Japanese and Chinese. Yeah, we do get the Japanese ban, but oh, the Chinese still... ban is kind of strange. All right, Rob. He says I'm. Watching the VOD later to see I this game. I think they game. are playing right gonna... now. Did they not put specs? Oh, the game nope. is. Uh... No, nope, it's not up. Oh, really? Unless they screwed it up and they already rehosted. Predictions. Yes. Thanks, Mameluke. What would I do without chat sometimes? I just. Be a failure. What are the tips? Game yeah. two. I, I was already Games. watching that. I think first pick for Machias is for Arabia. <coughs> Mine's yeah. Runestone, Mega Random Lithuanians. And for Clemens is Vietnamese Runestones, Arabia, Khmer, and Mega Random Persians. Yeah. Right. Even though he, his third pick is Turks. But... I want to see some big points spent on this set. Looks like game is now up. I think. I'm Dutch. I cannot, I cannot big bettings. Oh, yeah. Game is up for. 39 seconds. I know, right? Adel hype. Yes. Let's go. This matchup right now, this is like. Do you have epic. an APM counter? <laughs> Clemens Spencer? Laposh APM counter? What do you mean? I mean, check out on the, uh, the bottom right of the UI. Bottom right. And yeah, this one. If you click on it, do you have the APM counter? Oh, Just you mean... click. Yeah. Oh, you have it. Okay. That's all you care about, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll just just delete it. No, 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 no. Yeah, just put it on. I'm uh, yeah, uh, resource collected and all. Okay, so It'll Persians be from Clemens, Mayans for Laposh. And the first thing that is noticeable is that Clemens got an eight seconds. I don't. Uh, I don't. Idle idle arm what happened? Already. Maybe a little bit of nerves. For the yeah. sets, but oh, he pulled a boar so early. Stuff. I think it idled him. Maybe it shouldn't. The still, shooting like... of the boar, possibly. And he's playing against Lepash. You know that he never lames. Yeah. Yeah. He he hates laming. He can lame. That is not his style. He's an honorable player. Yes. Probably I forgot to cue bills. I mean, he was AFK. Ten minutes, maybe he was getting super baked the whole time. Sure. <laughs> maybe. I don't think he's baked yet. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a feeling it was something with his OBS and streaming. Yeah. Brian Wood for Clems. And I was really hoping you would pick uh Bushes for the Mega Random, but he picked Bushes for this map. What other but good Mega see. Random sips did he have? He got is quite good. Even Kumar is okay, I think. Oh yeah, Kumar. I I love them on Mega Random. But yet, they're just a good. Persians is one of the most versatile. So I think Persians is one of the best uh, Mega Random sifs. Yeah. Who's your guy's favorite Meso sif right now? Out of the uh, Incas. Yeah, definitely. They have climbed to the top. Mayuk is just. Insane. I would say Mayans because of the archers. Oh. Well, you you do but love the have... archers. Yes, and also the unique decks. They uh, have the best eagles, which makes a great sieve in the best curves. I never liked Mezzo sieves until Incas. Now I'm a fan. <laughs> well, they do have the best uh, Fiddle Age, at least. By the way, we have 4,900 points on Clemens. If anyone wants to take a chance on the posh, you're going to win hey, big. Do it. I will. Uh, no, but uh, I don't expect him to win. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I will put I'm just 25. <laughs> so I win. 25 points or 2,500. 
25. Okay, well, there's, there's something on the pod. It's just a, it's he wins. I'm just video nerd. <laughs> I don't know if you get the 4,900 for just betting. To I get it. I get all. Yes. Is I that get how all. it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, you get the so point good. of the people that uh, bet against you. You steal all their money for putting yeah, 45. Yeah, I could have put one. Would Malik have says better. no. I don't think it works like that. Okay, I will pay you after the game. Okay, <laughs> we'll keep track. If, uh, what, what about the, the maps? I do like uh, Clement's map uh, way more than uh, Ben. He has everything uh, backward on the back of his what? base. I think it's kind of even, but you can just imagine the walls for Clemens. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's uh, perfect so square. easy to wall this. Perfect. We're in Laposh. A little bit more to go. I think he doesn't even want to fully wall to the edges, but make a wall between the woodlands. Mm. So make a egg formation instead of a uh, fully wall base. Yeah, Clemens' base is great. Laposh. And the bear is coming up for both of them. Trying to be annoying with the eagle. Ooh. So. Clemens... Oh, Clemens barely... No, he knows Laposh is there. He saw the gold. <laughs> oh, yeah, but he didn't notice... Oh, yeah, he did. He Maybe. did now. I think he's... I don't think so. I think he realized like... now. He just didn't at first. He knows. Oh. His stone. Oh, those pigs. Oh, oh the, the, yeah, the, the pigs could be taken. Turn the euros a bit down, please. I think I just need to change the whole uh, the euros. audio level. Of... How's that? Talk, guys. Hello? Hello? Maybe a little bit more. How about now? <laughs> uh, I, I, I do like that. Uh, I do like that the club is going for. Arrange. You guys are kind of loud on my ears, actually. Hold up. I don't know why my uh, Discord, some days it's louder, some days it's not. Maybe my whole volume mixer changed or something weird. Oh, the Scout of Laposh going down, but it did take a bit of the uh, Clemens Scout HP down. Horse Collar coming in for Clems. He's going skirms. Yeah, and actually losing the skull for Lapash is actually a big deal because Clemens is going skirms. Right, and so, Lapash is going archers. Yeah, I do not like this trait. What do you think about Lapash walling the box instead of to the right? I think that he should do this. This okay. is the best uh, wall formation. It's safer. Yeah, way safer. Okay. Like he can never be on time to the to the right. True. Uh, the way he's walling right now. Yeah, the Clemens just breaks safe. in before Bill could ever get over there. You're right. Yeah, it's, it's very easy for him to do it later. Like, if he extends his economy, then he can always uh, fully wall the right side as well. So I don't hate it. Yeah. So... Ben is going out without flinching, or he just clicked it? Okay. Yeah, he clicked it. I don't like the fact that he's not adding... Uh... An eagle to counter the skirmisher. Yeah, his he compensation is way. It. Yeah, his compensation is way stronger than Clemens because he's going full skirms. Uh, Clemens is being wisely just waiting for yeah. the walls to come up, but his army would not do anything. So yeah. both of them are playing it very safely right now. How's the audio now, cheap? Maybe my mic's too far from me. That could be part of it. But Clemens, uh, I mean, Ben could deny uh, a wood line. At least. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that's, that's the thing. thing about those arches. And that's the thing about this map. It is easier to be safe at home than on um, Standard Arabia. Definitely. Oh, is he gonna deny? No. Does he realize it? I don't think so. So, Laposh. I know when Laposh feels like this with his archers and they did nothing, he doesn't ha tend to have as good of a game. And Clemens wants to just come clear these. He knows he yeah, can't but do Le damage. Laposh knows he cannot get in. Why not hit the woodline instead? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a little bit uh, wasteful for Laposh. In that little that little hole, I agree. Yes. It's it's some kind of damage. 
audio is good. All right, thanks, cheap. But I like this from the bus. Like he sees the archer wins, the skirms. He's for the walls. So he's just thinking, uh, let's make faster. Guess what? Arm. Oh. Yeah. Now he's and gonna lose his archers. Options. Yep. And if he's very wise at the moment, then just completely stop making archers and go for eagles. Oh yeah, he's. He... Snipe the, the scout actually. The problem is though, Clemens is making a stable. So almost yeah, expecting. Sure, we'll see. Like I guess. E eagles with bikemen or eagles with. Uh, Archers? Monks? No, with monks. Would uh, do a great job for Lopas here. Eagles, pikes, and eventually Kamiuk. I think that is no, the. Hey. And he's killed those up. Yeah, he's he... making eagles at the moment. But he's Mayans, uh, Spencer. Oh my I gosh, he's mine. I'm thinking Aztecs or uh, <laughs> Incas. Wow. Thinking Incas because we were talking about them. Oh, and Clemens is actually adding extra scouts. Ooh, I think that's a mistake by Clemens. Ah. He clicked Fletching. There wasn't any need for it. I nope. have to agree. I think. Hey, you know what though? Clemens hates not having a scout, but he is making. He made two. When he's making scouts, okay. He wants to put pressure in feudal age while right? buffer world. Bit strange. Yeah. It's a little bit strange, yeah. He's delaying his uh, Kasai Star way too much. It almost looks like this house is garrisoned by the barracks flag on top of it, even though it's the barracks. Mm, yeah. He's Khmer. Now you see the Persian bonus. Uh, is three fills ahead already. Yeah. Wow. Even with, nice. with the idle idol time. Yep. yep. Now Laposh has actually a um, wheelbarrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So actually, oh, I think it's even. Because the idle time. Yeah, probably one fill has. I do like what uh, Lepage is doing. Because he's massing Castle Age on me. I do not think uh, Clemens uh, realized that what's going to be uh, Lepage uh, timing in Castle Age. Yeah, if you look at the resources, Lepage can click up right now and he just clicks. Mm. And Clemens is very far. Yeah, he's still adding scouts. So, Laposh could yeah, do one of two things here. He could mass Eagle Flood, but I have a feeling he may just drop a second TC, maybe even a third. Yeah, Laposh is a boomer. He's probably going for that. Also, Laposh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the second barrack is coming up, so it will make a lot of army. It's going to be probably. one TC right away, two barracks, Eagles. I don't think he's afraid of this at all. It's. Some scouts. He's, he's making gonna get damage in into the woodline of Clements. Yeah. And now he's gonna sit on it. Might yeah. even get a vill if he just clicks right to that hole. Yeah, if he pays attention to this, then you will find damage. And Clemens he's gonna get a vill. Maybe. Starting to, to be. He got a vill. Uh, really difficult for. Him. Clemens yeah. is in. But the, oh, Clemens is in. Ooh. Oh, that's a mistake from uh, from um, the bush. I think the eagles happened. can deal with it. Like he already has three where, eagles in Where position. are the eagles? They are they are there, but this is super annoying. Yeah, but they yeah, get plus uh, seven uh, attack in Castle Age. Oh, but look at the the uh, There's, weak, on vills. On the There's Ooh, weak vills. Yeah. He's gonna lose, I think, two vills right now. Although he backed. Oh, and those are the, oh the vills went with him. Yep, two vills. It was really uh, deniable for the bush. This should not have happened. Yeah. Yeah. Laposh is killing another. Vi no, it moved. Yeah, he will clean it up now. Yep. I think he's gonna drop a TC right away too. He still garrisons. Like I'm still garrison this TC. Yeah, he got the Now there is a ten villager difference for. Uh, lemons. It's it's deceiving. Wheelbarrow and minute and a half of Castle Age coming in. But he does yeah, have a slight build like, lead. Yeah, I would like uh, Lepas to make a monastery, go forward with all his army, just put pressure on Clemens. Ooh, I like this TC. A little bit out front, but it gets him a little more space. I thought he was going to actually put it on the gold wood line in the base, but this is fine. And the Eagles, the numbers, Squires is in. 
Oh yeah, and he has the arches to get through. So yeah. So able to revolt. Could be a lot, lot, lot of damage very soon. Jinko, nice Jamala, <laughs> Frenchy. Thanks for the follow. We got a French caster here right now, Florian. Yeah. And actually, Jinko is called uh, Florian too. <laughs> oh, really? So we got two Florians yeah. in the house. <coughs> Jinko Krolo. <laughs> no. Oh. E.T. Viva les Florian. Et viva long live Florians. Yes. What's the et? Oh, what does the et mean? This means, uh, yeah, long life Florians. Yeah. <laughs> By the so, way. Now, oh, go ahead. If it flow? Yeah, Le Pas should realize he's the, the, he's in need of a monastery. He's not building it, but I hope he's going to make it. Yeah, this it's is... obviously a lot of work, though. Lepage is, like, right where he left off yesterday. Playing great. He's got this pressure in Clemens' base. It's still close. Clemens is a villa ahead with Wheelbarrow now. I think Lepage should, st should start to push because uh, he's not going to get the economic advantage compared to Persians. Boom. And look what Clemens has done. I love this. He's identified like, you know what? You can't really hurt me. I'm going to go hurt you. Or try to. Also, look at uh, Ben uh, Bank. He has 800 gold. He should spend it. Yeah, he's also not making any army. Now he's queuing up. Military again, but he didn't queue up military for like uh, last two minutes. Yeah, I would have liked him to traverse those houses in Clement's base and move a little bit more around the TC, possibly get to that wood yep. line. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't see what we see. Okay, but Ben is realizing that uh, Clement's moved forward, so now he's. Uh... Oh, Clement is in again. Ooh, how's the damage control? There's a hole in the wood line still. Is he gonna see it? Okay, he does. Oh, this is devastating. And he, he has plus two uh, armor, so, actually. So he this is why this. I kind of wanted that TC on the gold that's now retreating. It's just so much yeah. safer there to protect the gold. Lepas is kind of falling apart. His forward arm is also to the clean up because he I, dived to TC with the eagles. I think he's His dead. Ego, yeah, he didn't make ego upgrades. I don't know what happened this game, he had such a lead. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, threw a bit. I, I thought he was going to do his TC approach. Monks. Boom. But this is what uh, Floyd says, like, he is floating 500 woods, 1200 golds. Yeah. Does he have a market? Sometimes you float... That's the issue, he doesn't have a market, so he's not using the market. But he's also a producing army at the moment. Only with monks at the moment. I told you though, no, Clemens, no, no, no. Clemens sounded serious. That's why I switched my prediction. I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like he's here to win today. <laughs> Something about the town, man. It gave it away. <clears throat> Although this is just game but, one. But still, those are knights coming into his base. Like Lepas should have rolled it out easily. Yeah. Twice he's got in when it could have been kept up. Maybe the posh is the one that's off today. Played so well I yesterday. And here we are, a day later, it's different feeling player. And also, like, Lepage is well known for his great defense. He doesn't show it here. Nope. And I... Are the monks gonna get the con... Yes. One conversion, two conversion. Ops inside... Nope. No, actually he does. Now Clemens should put the pressure with a six roll shot, maybe. Because he knows he has a boom lead, and, uh, yeah. and increasing the gap with the uh, is and the Pasha is uh, making a knight transition. He's got three knights now, four knights. <laughs> but Clemens doesn't even have to go forward. I think the damage has been done. He can just uh, chill his way to imp, even though the affiliate is only four. It's a two K rest uh, lead. Yeah, indeed. He got the lead, so he doesn't have to push it that much. Clemens is devoted now. He has <laughs> devotion. Oh, Finally. that's, that's great he to have here. He needs a little bit of God in his life. Laposh <laughs> <laughs> is spending the gold. He got the market. Trying to sort of stabilize here, but look at the military difference. 
I mean, Cla keep this yeah, but Le Pas just decided not to make any military anymore. I know. It's it almost like pike time, maybe? Something. Yeah, especially as if, if you want to go up, you need an op mess, because that's your composition for the late game. I don't know what, why he's not making any army. He's getting, he's gonna go into pikes. Pike coming in. How many barracks do we got at the moment if we're Laposh? We have two. Farm's coming down. Now we should blow off the right side. There's a lot of eco he got there. Yep. Luki AoE. Thanks for the follow. I like this for Clemens. He's going for the relics at the moment. Clemens is, I think, oh, I growing didn't... a bit by not oh. uh, mining enough stone to take control of the middle. He could put much more pressure. Yeah, that's actually true. Like, the fill difference is totally even yeah. at the moment. And he had a big lead, I would say. He's giving a chance to Ben to come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Posh ahead on Bills. Uh, kind of seeing even... He can't fight yet, Oh, he's though. opening the gates. He's opening the gates. Oh, it's a bottleneck, but... It's not enough pikes, right? Isn't this just going to no, overwhelm him? No. He also doesn't have to fully upgrade the pikes. Like, it's a Bodkin TC, but... Clemens is going to be happy to get in here. Yeah, and Monk, or... Monk pops out of the monastery and instantly dies. I, I think he's never going to get his numbers up now. He's rushing a lot of barracks, then. How many now? Three, that, four? That's the issue. With They're trickling in. Uh -huh. If it's uh, something went, went wrong, then he's going to react. Like, now he's on four barracks. But he could have done this uh, before all of this is happening. Yep. And he's the bills were just even. Army. Now it's a tin belly for Clemens. Clemens is content with just flooding to hell and back. He's going to hit that TC again. Everything's idle. Everything's dying. Yeah. And Clemens has tons of food. Yeah, Clemens probably think about Imperial Age soon. Yep. Imperial Age for the kill. Persian CA incoming, says Mameluk. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah, he's thinking Amp University coming down. I wouldn't even dislike the CA though. Like, there's a lot of fiber on the fields. That's true. I, I would rather just hand cannons. If, yeah, if it's it way even, better. I'd yeah. also think that Clemens is thinking about that. Right. Demons is floating him. If he sells a bit, he could click up. I just, I don't know. At least I'm not a big CA player, so I don't know. But it feels like getting into CA late is a lot harder than the games where you open CA. Compared to just like, okay, yeah, I'm he, in, he doesn't have braces, in canon so time. Is not, yeah, he doesn't have braces, so C is not the ideal unit here. Yeah. It is Clemens, though. So you never know. The, the man is addicted to CA. And the boss is going to drop a castle. I think he got the feeling he got braces a little bit too much, so it has to be an aggressive one. But Clemens is up. It's not on but stone, he but have... he, yeah. he, he can get bombards. Yeah, but he doesn't have stone for castle though, so that's good for the push. Yeah. Yep. That is the MTC, but it's a Persian one. And there's just no way it's going to die before it comes in. Yeah, and that's the same health as, as a castle, so it's going to take a very long time. Wait, it actually has the same health? I never knew that. Insane. Yeah, he could fight back. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes an effort, so. Yeah, he's garrison and you repair. <laughs> Ma Mamluk's saying he's gonna go hand cannons, yeah. I agree. Raids, hand cannons. And the boss is still far away from Imp. Well, not that far, but... It's gonna be He's difficult, I think. Gonna be up soon. Uh, Clemens is moving maybe a bit too You know much what? I didn't I, I didn't mention it, but I actually wanted that yeah. to be a stone wall earlier. Where Clemens is trying to break in. 
It's fine. So He's keeping it out. <laughs> I just think it's sort of vulnerable, like just a little section of stone right there. Yeah, and these for your weak stones, point. So good to it. Do you think we will we will see Savar this game? I don't Ooh, think this. there's. I don't think there's a need right now. I really don't like the second castle of Lepash. Like he just got well, to castle the actually, area. Yeah, if it's a little right, what gold does Clemens have besides that gold and the one on the back? Castle's yeah, gonna go up. The, seats, but the, work. the awkward pathing is gonna definitely allow this to go up. Not even the awkward pathing. Yeah, if he deleted, maybe. <laughs> it's his houses. Yep. Everyone wants Laposh and Clemens to win. <laughs> <laughs> Comes to his coming in. No, I Archer think he's walled. Unless there's a hole, I don't think Clemens has a way in with these. But the back side guys... now. Uh, you yeah, need what do you stone. Guys think about, what do you guys think about the position of the Archer ranges for Clemens? I think he's being sneaky, but it's not really necessary to be sneak like this, I think. Where are they? In the back, oh, where is the hand cannon like... switch. <laughs> Chemistry just yeah. came in, here comes the hand cannons. And what is Laposh gonna do here? You're fighting Cavalier that are now in the eco. Every time he's banged on Laposh's base, he's got in this game, it feels like. And, and, and we might just see again, a GG like, here. Yeah, he's attacking a house. So what was Laposh doing that he could not respond to this? Yep. Just a little off, at least in game one. And now he's gonna get in again. Okay, he did it that time. Now. Still no castles for Clemens. Yeah, it's way too late on the start. Like, on the way to Imperial, you at least wanna make the castle. And then that you can instantly go for the traps. That's one thing the Posh has going for him right now. Castles, he can make traps. I don't know. He won't get into Halb though with this eco damage he's suffering. And I, I would have just loved the stone wall on the right where that wood gate is, and then the section on the back left of his base stone. Yeah, he already gets help, so that's fine. Yeah. It's it's just your two weak points, and you're playing Clemens. We all know what he loves to do. <laughs> no, uh, Lopas got 20 uh, help ideas into his eco for the two knights that were left. <laughs> now... Laposh needs to switch into something because hand cannons BBCs against Trebs and Halb not gonna last long. No. Just straight up ops. Should be fine. Yeah, the Halb are diving. Yeah, he's, he's losing his uh, castle stuff. And now a castle coming up from Clemens. Clemens also securing gold on the left. And he's picking the relics, four relics for uh, Clemens now. Now, Clemens gonna find damage again from the left with these light cav. A whole wood line? Is it four bills? And now, there's no way this is gonna break in. We'll see. But the way this game's been going, maybe it will. <laughs> I must say, Clemens is very active with uh, the raids. Yeah. He's doing a good, good job with that. The green player. Yes. Oh, and the pass go for skirmishes? Skirms. I guess for the hand cannons. But I it's... would like oh but that's way more. Yeah, I was gonna say like you can't just go trash against all these cold units. Yeah, full trash. I'll be the ends. You... Skirm. You need some kind of power and... unit. And Clemens is in again. <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah. Clemens is at six TCs now. <laughs> Eco KD 59 to 2. Just that... made the sevens right now. Oh. I think that was the big difference in this game. Clemens constantly getting into Laposh's space. Yeah, and Laposh is trying to raid with Albadius. <laughs> hmm. I must say, early Kesso 8, Laposh had the lead. At that time? He, he did. Kind of threw it from there. Not making army consistently, not making the right buildings at the right time. 
And well, Clem's, lots of resources. Clem's about to be pop capped. He'll probably yeah. even start deleting bills soon. And now uh, Lapaz is going for eagles. But there's a lot Are of you? your already out. I think we need the arbs, like you've been saying. Yeah. Because the like arb can do decent against the light cav. They can kill the hand cannons. Much better at sniping bombards. Clemson is either going for to see on the Yeah, the, the other gold. Yeah. Laposh is going to be out of gold. How's the relics? Clemens has four relics. He's pushing. He's safe at home. This, they, we're going to see a GG. Yeah, mines are mines, but don't think he can come back from this. Yeah, Laposh knows he's dead. Yeah, also, if you look at the population, uh, Clemens is fully popped. Uh, the bus is 130 at the moment. Yeah. Ballistics coming Resign. in. Resign! Castle Resign forward. He's like, if you haven't Resign. quit yet, I'm gonna put this castle. I think because he hasn't dropped to 100 pop. That could be. He has 105 wheels. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a sign. Clem has <laughs> got more plumes than uh, Lapash. I just know when you have 130 pop, you don't feel dead dead. So you can kind of play on. But I think that number is going to plummet very soon. Especially well, as he's I think if you know, you know the right. a single castle, yeah. Push in one corner of the map. You got raided all over. You're 4,000. You're 4,000 score behind. Yeah. And your opponent got the best gold position against you. Mm. Fix that. Even so far as getting in for Clemens. Wow, that is the uh, is cherry the on top. These hand cannons together have 39 kills. Jeez, goals. Or is by far the best caster I've ever heard, says Florian. Damn. Thank you, Jinku. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well played. Ironic, but it's okay. Well played, Clements. Taking game one. What's the key dish? 240 to 110. Every stat is just crazy good for Clems. Even the relics. Even the APM, right? <laughs> Even the APM. I, I'd be surprised if it's not. Although Laposh had insanely high APM yesterday in one of his games. What's your APM nowadays, kiddo? 90, I would say. When I'm playing against you, it's uh, 120. Damn. Well, <laughs> kiddo, how about, you, how about you, Spencer? I'm always 55 ish. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's Young my... and old. It's <laughs> <laughs> like we're talking about something that's like. Yeah, that's there's my no shame range. in having little APM, man. Okay. I, I just know my average. It, it is 55. Mameluke, you are not 33. Are you? Like, I'd be shocked if you're 33 APM. But if you are, that shows how meaningless APM is. Imagine right, being a bug. <laughs> a small break, two minutes. Yeah, same. Be right back. 27 average with Aztecs. I don't know if Mamluk's trolling me right now or being serious. I have 30 APM, but whenever I'm eating, it drops to 5. <laughs> Looking D's. And, um, like general or wh where at? Let's see. Roll up in general. Oh, APM. Sixty nine, sixty five, sixty three, sixty three. Yeah, you're up in the sixties. I knew you were trolling me. You know it. 
Go higher. Okay, what do we got here? Is it... Wait, what's these 40s and 30s? Is this you, the big long post from Dev? Let me see. Oh, wait. Wait. There are some low ones mixed in. 27 with Aztecs? 38 with Mongols? What's going on? Oh, but what's your highest? 69 with the Tatars. Wow. Someone messaged me. Okay. So it's 1-1. One, one. I'll update the uh, draft right now. Mayans died. Persians won. I'm actually a big fan of these eight random bands. Narrowing sieves that could be used. All right, game two predictions. It's going to be on Arabia. Will it be Lepash? Or will it be Clements? Five minutes. Also, let me see if the brackets are actually... I don't know why the heck they disappeared. That's so weird. No brackets. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, it's going to likely be Arabia unless Laposh chooses to do Mega Random. This is best of five, right? It's the best of three. Oh, best of three. I thought about adding the option to do BO fives <coughs> if if it fits with scheduling. Not a terrible idea for future ones. Because like even the games yesterday, if you're only playing one match on a Friday, it could absolutely be a BO five. Yeah, I prefer best of fives instead of best of threes because you can have two lucky games or bad games. And lose or win by that. Where BO5. Alright. Wait. Wait, did he, did Laposh right just there, ping? <laughs> he almost pinged his TC. <laughs> lame, he says. <laughs> lame? Lame. Can I lame? Can I lame? That might throw Clemens <laughs> off. He literally pinged his boar right next to his TC, and here's Clemens pulling that boar and like, oh gosh, is he coming? Is he coming? <laughs> Scared? All strategy are required to win. <laughs> <laughs> Just spam <bam>, spin. <laughs> All right, what are the points looking at right now? Fifteen hundred on the posh. Who bet big on the posh? Curious. Someone who wants to give me his uh, his puntos, I think. I I, I said two one Clems. You said two o oh, Clems, kiddo. Clems, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Manith also said two one Clems. Get no, with... against Lithuanians. I would have preferred Lithuanians to Mega Random, but this could work. Yeah, Lithuanians, Vietnamese. Well, Lithuania's got the fastest skirm, and yeah. Clem is probably going for Arch or for CA. Yeah, that could be really good Clemens here. Seems a bit uh, rested this game, or, I don't know, tired. Because he, he sent a villager to lure boar that he didn't take in the end. He yeah, took uh, very early his boar. The sheep went with him, the deer was being a little weird. He looked... He oh, and now the else. villager, not knowing where to walk. Part of that's pathing. Yeah. But now he got three fills on the right side of the lumber camp. That's a little bit awkward. Let's criticize. Let's actually, criticize. <laughs> yeah. That's why he we, yeah. actually did this last game too. Three kind of clogged in there. 
Yeah, now, does, true. He does this a lot, actually. Does he like three on wood most of his games? I didn't know that. Mm, I think so, yeah. Like two on wood is so standard nowadays for anything team game one v one unless you're doing like a drush or something a little different. FC. Yeah, Jinko. Uh, I always do three on woods. It's a little bit more comfortable. You don't have to do tie it up so much. Hmm. I mean, what are you short on wood for, or what? What are you lacking? I guess with the two on wood. Archer well, range prediction? I oh, you you mean to switch to the... Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I'm also doing it for the scout prediction. I don't think you have to rush up like 15 pop build order. Yes, 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 you do. Well, I think like 19, <laughs> for instance. <laughs> if you want to get away with like the 19 no loom or the 20 no loom, it just feels so much easier to do with two on wood. Yeah, but if you do 20 pop, then you can get afford pet X and... Uh... The mill thingy. I just yeah. walk over. Well, yeah, make if you go uh, I, I, pop, you can also fast castle. So. <laughs> I can't really, I can't really argue against you guys. You're, you're both higher elo than me, so like, you want to do three uh, on wood? It's just, uh, it's it really just what you prefer. Yeah. But yeah, making the walls in the start and things like that, you can do it better with it free. I also I hate the lumber camp of La Pache. Like that's yeah. that's one of the first rules in Ace of Fire. Always make it at the back of your base. Especially that and nice also it's only wood line. One, uh, one tree, I don't hate right? that. Like it's very efficient at the moment, at least. Not for too long. It's gonna be ponies for Lapache, and looks like ponies for Clems. Yeah, I think uh, I think Lapache would know this. It's called a BCA. Oh, but Clemens will get the uh, Fido 8 earlier. No. So the scout of Lepage for die. No, Lepage is first. Oh, Lepage. Oh, but he's running away. Is it not? This is the micro. The micro, the micro. Oh, he doesn't what? know. He's just running away. He should have done. Yeah, especially with this quick up. 18 up here, I think uh, you stay on his tail. You have to assume Clemens didn't 18 yeah. up. That's a bit of a mistake for Clemens. Push. I always stay on the scout. If I 18 up, just assume he didn't. And if he did, whatever. Oh, look. I think that was a bait. A stop in front of TC. Not really. Oh, yeah, he does not have loop. Oh. I already thought, like, why is he quick walling this? Wow. That's Sometimes death. the quick wall even reveals that you don't have it. Get punished for greed. Yeah. Wow. Cool. These two are friends, but today, uh, they're and this is why our rivals. <laughs> Especially against the no loom, you get that little window. Now Clemens, more than anything, wants to find a weak vill. Like you, you I kill my vill, I get yours. Build order is a bit weird because he should be able as Lithuanians to afford a uh, host color. Even with the 18 up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he went 19 actually. No, he no, did. He, eight, he did 18. He um, went 18. I I don't hate it because looking at his food, it seems very tight to squeeze on horse collar right now. Oh no. And spear coming forward. He'll get it, oh, he's, he's gonna wait. Yeah, the push cuts. I really hate when players don't do this. If you got a weak scout, just scouts all off the map. Okay. Yeah, I always say retire him to auto scout. Yep. And if yeah. you see the fog of war for the push, you have a lot of scouting to do, so that would be actually great. And he's little waiting, so he wants to know where the relics are. Oh, uh, that's true. Um, You're right. Six farms of Clemens to five of Lapash. No one's on berries for Lapash. What's going yeah. on? Eight idols for Lapash for a very long time. Yes. Nine All the sheep bills doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's being a little bit rusty, I think. Probably marking a little bit too much. He just noticed. Face. 
And no horse collar. I think if they weren't idle and more were on berries, he could have squeezed horse collar in right now. Uh, does Clemens have a horse collar? He, he, does. Does. he does. And he has the discounts on his upgrades, so pretty good spot for Clemens right now. Um, knowing him, he's gonna want to go CA. Yeah, and most of the time, if you go CA, you don't need horse collar. But Vietnamese got the the cheaper uh, the cheaper the wood decks, discount. So. Yeah, yeah, you're not using your bonus. I feel like if you skip horse collar with them, True. and I feel like Laposh may lose a bill. Oh, the spear's coming just in time. <laughs> you could Those still uh, permit on this villager. I think this. So what Harris says the. The spear buys time to save the bill, even if the spear dies. But the spear is actually going to protect it. I got two spearmen on the same area. You should divide those a little bit. Small walls are up for Clems. His one vulnerable spot. He's got three spears. Posh chilling at home, although the villa is separating from the spear, it's fine. Ooh, Clem's taking a hit. Those big hits. No, the boss is taking hits. Everybody's just taking hits. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of a bunch of reminds me of a bunch of stoners taking a bunch of hits. <laughs> Clemens is really not paying that much attention to his scouts. Yeah, yeah, and I think if you've skipped Losing horse, if you've skipped horse collar mm -hmm. this long, uh, you're not gonna get it at this point. Uh, is this in that fill? Probably right. It's gonna be painful for Clemens to kill it, but I don't hate it. Yep. The pass is still one fill ahead, though. Clemens is housed. So this should be fine. So he got a bill. I saw this yesterday. Yesterday he got housed like a lot of times, Clemens. Yeah, and the posh <laughs> actually delaying the house. <laughs> yeah, that was actually great. <laughs> there was a partial bill kill just That's, delaying I mean, the house. That's a kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Look at all these. Now it's all, now it's all about Castle H. Yep, Clemens has to come home because he's open. That's the one thing I like for Laposh here. He's got these great walls going on where Clemens is going to be open. And if you want to get into, say, CA, a bill going to go down. It can't even move. It can't. Oh, you got to finish it off. Two bills, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, and Clemens is still maybe. not for the walls. Not even close to it. Oh, Laposh is going to be up first. I would like for the bus to send the, the spearman ahead. Like, there's four spearmen oh, yeah. there. He's, he's forgotten could about have done a lot for him. Yeah, uh, since he's walled. It would be massive yeah. right now, actually. He would have kicked Clemens fully off gold. If yeah, the spears sure. were there. And the fact that the Clemens is up. open... It's a little bit the same as the last game. Like, the bus got a slight lead. Yeah. Uh, Pass to Castle H and he got the Vill lead. Well, let's see how he follows this up. What would you guys prefer? How will Lepas defend against the CA? If Clemens is going for it now. Um, I think, uh, go ahead, uh, Spencer. I actually feel like the way Lepas made his map, he could TC his main gold outside for some decent protection. And then even this wood line on the front. I don't know, I, I like it. Even if CA come, I kind of like Laposh's setup here. I think he'll deal with it. And yeah. the CA, he's going to flood him with knights. He's so open. I don't see the walls being up in time. So I, I just I love this position for I don't think Lepash. he even needs to make knights. Oh, he, he got the hole in the wall. <laughs> of oh, course. That's so annoying for him. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, now it's he's happy the spears are home. Still no archer remains for Clemens, so... These scouts have no upgrades. Oh, I don't even think they're gonna get a kill, yep. 
the All right, so really try, Spears really forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spears forward, knights, let's go. Would like to see an archer range from uh, Ben to open Look. skirmisher uh, monks. I think he can delay it a little bit. Like, He's gonna go knights. I, I like the knights. Both put the C's and then go CA or scorpions maybe. Mm, yeah. Oh, but keep those scouts alive. This is... And the little way you need to defend the relics with them. Those. I think Clemens knows he can't go uh, CA in this situation. He's adding another stable. It's gonna be knights v knights. And also, it's, it's a bit of a uh, mind game here, I think. Because Clemens knows that the boss is suspecting CA. <laughs> right. He knows that he knows that he <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And the other part of the mind game is no bloodlines the whole way up on the scouts. And now he's getting it. Cool. Yeah, he's getting light gaff, Clemens. So he knows that that he have to contest the relics. Only now Clemens is warning. Yeah, it's warning. so late. It could still be punished. The knights aren't going to get in on the left, but they could absolutely get in on the other side. If Laposh clicks again, they will run around. He doesn't know that it's just wide open. Clemens yeah. also. <clears throat> Light cab is in. Trying to break in. And triple TC for Clemens. I don't think Laposh is going to uh, let Clemens in constantly this game. I hope so. <laughs> Still those four spearmen are just patrolling in this space. Okay, as I say no, that, is he gonna house? Okay, he's he's more on top of it this game. Yeah, this is good. It's unfortunate for Lapash that he doesn't know this base is wide open. He just clicked. Nope, he did not. He just assumes it's walled. And it will be by now, I don't think he can get in. Actually, the first monks are coming out for Lapash. He can get in. He can absolutely get in. He knows it's open. These knights yeah, have clicked. He He's not going this though. Come on, right Lapash. Go. Go. Although Clemens did get into his base again. Yep. Oh, yeah. Again and again. This is the story for today, mates. Let's see how it's we manage to fine. kill this. Pasha's all these knights and they're not doing anything. He's just worried about home right now. Clemens has a lot of hide on. Oh, just uh, yeah. Removed it. All right, Lapash, just click into Clemens' base and you will get in. I think. Just right click. Okay, it's not gonna happen. And now with the composition that Clemens of uh, Lapash is making, like. Clemens is going for the relic fight, so he's making monks to counter the knights. Yep, and the monk pops uh, out. The, yeah, Clemens is totally fine here. He's, you've got to fill lead again. Speaking of the monks, we have two on the field for Lapash. Getting a relic. Like you said, that auto scouting could have really helped because he only sees, what, one relic right now? Yeah, at the moment. But he is scouts in the map though. Oh, with with the monk. <laughs> yeah, the monk's gonna run past that's that relic fast. for now. Yeah, that's not the fastest way. Devotion is researched for Ben. Oh, that's kind of smart. Here comes the monks from Clems again. Now, the one thing that this does, Clems monks at home having to defend, does open the door to get the relics. And imagine if this one HP scout actually snipes a monk. Yeah, that could happen. And also, this is the kind of sad. Like the monk almost saw the second relic. Oh uh, man! Sliced. And now he's walking back to get the, the closest he's one. Probably wondering where the hell the things are. And that's where Auto Scout can kind of become your best friend. Gonna lose a knight here, I think. Didn't lose it. Wow. That's he's devoted. He's devoted. He has devoted. Is he already? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that's, that's huge. 
Second relic coming in. Laposha's front door is open. Clemens has a knack for finding ways into your base, especially if there's a hole or an overchop. I like this. The the waypoints of Laposh Monk are through the edges of the map to the relic of uh, Clemens' sides and back again. I love that. <laughs> He's... This is just... It's a Piper thing to do. Like sneaky relic steal. Right. He's got one guarded on the right. He doesn't know about this one right next to his base, unfortunately. One auto scout could do so much for Laposh right now. Yep. <clears throat> he does have two. I think if you get to the three, it's really good. Two's okay. And obviously four is the best. Who's winning, Sean? Right now, Clems is up 1-0, but this second game is close. I would say Lapas is uh, in the drive seat at the moment. Because he, he's also making Clems go knights, like he's got a lot of knights at, uh, on the field right now. And that's not his uh, later comp, so he's not yeah. gonna do a lot uh, with those. I would hope the stream isn't frozen. Let me check my browser. Oh, the next could be is disaster. You, the bosses wanted to make a TC on the right side, but there's a lot of knights there. Well, is my stream frozen? Yeah. Uh, no, not for me. You can see it moving? No, not for me. Okay, yeah. cool. It's just you, Titanic Lord. <laughs> Titanic computer? <laughs> <laughs> what is this now there's computer? an overchop. Is that an overchop or Clems? It is, on the front. Oh, no, no, there's still uh, a tree there. Is there? Oh, yeah, that guy's chopping it right <laughs> now. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and the boss actually gets saved by those knights attacking his house. Because he wanted to, to see that he could yep. lose a lot more of those. It was almost a disaster. Now he gets to see that this is all here. Oh. <clears throat> and there's one big work. massive hill in front of the bases. Like, the one who gets a castle up there, I think he's in the lead. He, he's gonna be so happy. Oh, I just said this monk's gonna reveal the relic. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> he barely saw it. He barely saw it. He knows. Like, There's the damn thing. Okay, three relics for Lepash. That's huge. For Lithuanians. Yeah, three of us too. Lepash could click up. Oh, he just does. Yeah, he's up to amp. He also has both attacks in. Clemens getting forging right now. Clemens is committing in Castle Age. Weird. Yeah, he shouldn't do this. It's way too late for this. Adel says that Posh the has the, this. Yeah, that's yeah. the castle in the, in the middle. That's just, a great castle. Just what weather this storm. Of, uh, of the knights? What is knight uh, stats? Um, It's 14 versus 11. Massive difference. Ooh, yeah. And Clemens actually prioritizing armor over attack. Although the posh, it's sort of uphill. Yeah, I don't, I don't. You're, you're up to imp. Just wait, just wait. Yeah, in this. Like I don't think uh, Clemens will make coffee here. Uh, probably he is because he's still messing knights. We should really make a decision right now. Yeah, Laposh will start getting in the latest. Especially uh, mixed in Lepash maybe. Doing latest. Yeah, like CA against latest would be great. I think for now he feels locked into this. He's he's stuck with these knights and his own imp soon. Yeah. It does have a village elite from like 15 at the moment. That's great, but. But it's gonna be a long time before he's imp. Yeah, it's two relics to three. Res collected is within a thousand. Yeah, still a very close game. He just needs elephants. <laughs> just kidding. Maybe, maybe, after all. Oh, this monk is gonna get murdered. <laughs> 
And Clemens Ooh. running in right when Imp's in. He's like, oh, you're Imp? Okay. Let's it's go, time. Clemens. Sacrifice everything <laughs> right now. <laughs> that's a bad castle. Yeah, that's a very bad castle. Useless one. Okay. Yeah, the Vils, the Vils on it are all gonna die. He's on Cavalier, so he doesn't need to leave this castle. This is so frustrating if you're Laposh. You just hit Imp. But it's not even a good dive if Laposh managed this. Time for well, right now the fight is mostly before any upgrades are in, but he is going to clear it. Yeah, so Clemens loses all of his knights. And Clemens is going into CA. Go. Oh, the push is not patching that hole. That's stupid. Well, it's going to be an awkward push. transition here to CA, I think, for Clemens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lost a little bit too much. The stats is... the, of the knights. I mean, of the cavalier. Yeah, it's 12 plus 5. Woo! Okay, so 17 attack for those guys. Okay. Yeah, that's quite a lot. I just know, like, the pendulum's gonna swing back right now. Laposh, he's already there, actually, with some cavalier. Yeah, and Club is going for CA now. A lot of archer ranges. I Will like it that. be enough CA in time? Don't think so, but it is the right thing to do, I think. It was a big raid though, like that really crippled the posh. Yeah, it I mean, did. But still, he tossed all his, of his army. The posh should be fine. This latest doing work in front of uh, Clemens' base. Kills five bills. And the posh switching right into skirms for the CA. He identified that the CA switch was coming. And right away got into Elite Skirm, Ballistics, Bracer, Armor, Chemistry. Getting everything right now. Damn. I don't know how he afforded all that with his Eco taking <clears throat> such a hit. He got Cavalier and plus four. I think Lepas should uh, expect a little bit more. Actually, I... Do you think Clemens has still a big, big chance to win? Because he is going for light calf CA, which is pretty amazing against uh, just full calf. Yeah, all of a sudden Clemens already has all these CA. They have and Bracer. He has a very big Vill lead. I don't know if you. Uh, he does. So it. But he has 20 more Vills. No yeah, ballistics true. yet. But that's the issue from the bus at the moment. He's just stuck in his base all the time. Yeah. Because he has windows to attack, but he's not really taking it. Yeah. Like a raid here and there could give him so much. Definitely. I think this front gold needs to be pressured, although Clemens has great gold in the back. And that's a, such a good castle from Clemens. Yeah. And now Lepas is diving, but... Oh, it's... it's... It's very, better. very bad dive in my opinion. Yeah, sir. He's gonna go to the right where the eco's weaker, it looks like. Oh, he doesn't go to the okay, right. Okay, okay. He goes to the right. If he went right, it actually didn't look bad. He wants yeah. to get some damage back. It's gonna be nowhere near as much as what Clemens got. I think Clemens' understanding of the late game is much better than Lapatch. Like, Lapatch should already be in a transition with Skirmisher at least. Yeah, and he's yeah. messing up uh, traps, but he's not doing anything with the traps. Okay, he, he has this commercial situation. My bad. Yeah, he has no army. Da, 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 da. And Clements will just continue to punish this base, I think. Yeah. The light cab will never stop. <clears throat> and there's a lot more green on the map than orange. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's a great castle for Lepash, though. Yeah, especially against Clems. Lepash doesn't have ballistics? Mm. Don't think so. He doesn't have it. It's coming in now. He's clicking it. He's clicking it. Indeed. Okay, that's great. Big engagement in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Being retreated. <clears throat> the, the comp uh, notion from... Uh, Clemens is better than the yeah, Like he has already light cap. The score lead is a bit deceiving right now. 
exactly how it is. But it should have been the Bush raiding instead of Clemens. He's just not taking what? his uh, windows. Where, where's the score lead coming from? The KD is even. The res collected is in favor of Clemens. More castles. I guess that's what uh, it is, isn't it? More attacks, probably. Treb is going like to survive. Control. Another dive on the Trebs. Now, these are not elite latest. More, like, gaps with, uh, gaps with resources for. Oh, he didn't end up plus free attack. Er, uh, plus free armor. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clemens only has one armor right now on his CA. Yeah, they have belts. Gonna also, kill I don't the think should make latest. Like Gaffier would be better, I think. Yeah. I agree, and they're not elite latest either. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think what he really needs here is he doesn't have the numbers or the eco though. Never mind. But Paladin could have been so good if he found a way to get into them. Well, Paladin is a little bit expensive. Yes, that's what I mean. There's no way he can get into them if he could have. Yeah. Managed eco better and damage. It would the be Gaffrey huge would here. Be but even light cap, with his foot economy is a little bit shit at the moment. Ooh, and the uh, time is going down. Yeah, I agree, Titanic Lord. If he'd like conserved that mass and got into Paladin, it could have been great. But 146 pop to 173. It's like Laposh is trying to stabilize, but it's just. No heavy blow for uh, Clemens. Yeah, that should be fine. That blow is not that important. Oh. I actually, I actually want to see. I think winged hussars could be really good here. Also kind of expensive. Yeah, but uh, Lepas still needs to... Uh... Oh, the skirms, what is he doing? I think he clicked and looked away. Now he realized. But the traps of Clemens. Maybe a second trap will die here. Doesn't see it. Yeah, and something... Sean saying this favors Lithuanians, later it goes. And now Lepas 150 pop. If he can get his pop all the way up, I think he's in a great spot. He's like... Crawling back into this game, he has one more relic. Depends how uh, far it goes, because if it goes to paper, money, and uh, Imperial Skirmisher, I would like to have a good time into it. Well, one side has Imperial yeah. Skirm, and one side has uh, Winged Hussars, right? Yeah, yeah. But Both also are paper great. Money, so you can still make a gold unit quite easy. Paper money is a one time thing, right? No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, what, is, what does it do now? It provides gold by uh, having farm rooms. Wait, what? No, by, by uh, woodcutting, right? Oh, I yeah, woodcutting, I mean, it's not... Yeah, oh, they're like, they're, they're printing money. money, I get it. That's that's actually kind of thematic. It's uh, very sick if you want to get uh, Hussar uh, and um, Kavach's mass. They're chopping money. Uh, three relics for Lapache and uh, two relics for Clemens, Titanic Lord. Yeah, and now uh, Lapache should go for Winged Hussar. His food, food economy is quite decent again. I agree. But look at the queue of Clemens and look at the queue from Lapache. And Clemens will already raid. making one trap. <laughs> He's already making one trap. <laughs> That's. <laughs> and there's nothing in queue. He wants Elite Latest. Does it, does it do that much here? No, it doesn't. Because when he got the, the uh, elites, then he's not able to make a lot of latest anymore. And there's only 10 of them. Yeah, so just go I, for Rich Star and I go agree. for uh, Hobart Cannons or something like that. But not to go for elite latest. I think we're going to see a castle on the right from Lapash. Everything else is pretty secure. Here's a big jump from Clemens on the Trebs. Gonna get. All of them, I think. Not quite all of them. Next wave comes in. 
The Hussar or the the scrims are not hitting the cav archers either at the moment. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever do it. Do you ever just shift click a bunch of them? No, I just uh, barely. I'll just do it. I never go that far. I either lose <laughs> or win uh, before. Yeah, this was very yeah. positive. The guys are full of bots going down. And yes. now he's making a new one. Ooh. If he repair that castle. He doesn't like it. He's gonna reposition it. I think he's worried about the traps. But I, I think he just needs winged hussars in the front here. Yep, he and, does. And now Clemens wants to get stables on the left. He wants to raid him to death. Uh, he's still making latest, which are great, of course, but not against the ball CA. Yeah. Clemens is having. Well, that's no, give the CA for Clemens. Yeah, this is the best spot for Clemens. Like he loves uh, to be in this position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, military flipped. Population's 175, 175. I just... Winged Hussars could change this game right now. You gotta get into them. You gotta get into them. Also, maybe a few bombard cannons for both sides. Especially for Clemens would be great. Well, eventually his I gold's the... gonna run so low, he'll have to get into Winged Hussars. Yeah, but maybe he cannot even afford Winged Hussar because of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the other problem. And his final gold miners on the right are gonna get killed by Clemens right now. Big fight. Uh, like, th this is the biggest difference from this game. The rates from... Uh, Clemens and not raiding from the bush, I think. Yeah, and just imagine how well winged hussars would do right now in Clemens Eco. Yeah, true. Like a few stables on the sides, the bases. It seems like Lapash is more about this push. That's how he's wanting to win. He wants to win this push in the middle, but I think he's been slowly losing ground. Well, the traps. I actually got 22 latest. He hasn't had this kind of numbers this game. Yeah, true. And now, how about he for Clemens? I love this timing. Gold is running out, so yeah. you need to go for trash. And now, with this gold and food amount, Lapash has to get Winged Hussar right now. Has to. Does he even have Light Cav yep. upgrade? <laughs> Does he have uh, trample damage right away when he has uh, gold hussars with wing? I don't hussars, think or? he gets trample. No, That's just the pulse really thing, pulse. right? Yeah. Oh, it's only really pulse, pulse, so it's not that good. It's still good. Pulse don't have the final armor crates, which uh, yeah. the little ways do. Okay, here comes Halb. Clemens has been so okay. Winged hussar coming in. And also, uh, Lepash has zero golds, even though his main gold is still up. What I really like about the Winged Hussar is Lepash values these gold units. So he's not going to throw them out. Now that he has Winged Hussars that are going to be made, he's going to start raiding with them, I think. And it could be really oh, good. Oh, he, uh, he clicked the upgrade. Okay. Great. Yes, it's coming in. He's going to start raiding now. He's got the food to spam the hell out of these. How many stables does he have is the question. Only three right now, but many more are coming down. And 192, they're both pop capped. Yeah, this is gonna be a great game, actually. Yeah. They go either way. This is an insanely good game. Clemens constantly pressuring that last little bit of gold. Both players are gonna be out of gold soon, but Lapash has one more relic. I There's... don't realize he has paper and money. <laughs> oh, he probably never will. Stables. He's building stables right now. He needs more because the production is slipping right now. 11 wing yeah, hussars yeah, in queue. Honestly, it's also wing hussars, man. Intimidation factor. You see those wings? It's getting a little bit scared. <laughs> and. I just have a feeling we're gonna see some raids now from Lapash. Yeah, should 
Although, military stalling out a little bit in the center. Ever since the Halbs got in there. Right, ben is pushing the with Treb, the, the yeah. castle. The right. is also going far with you. That's great. Yeah, I like it. Turn into yeah, all out better than, uh, go for the middle. All out trash war, and if you can keep getting these CA numbers down, it could be huge. The skirms really need to hit them. Every CA counts right now. That you kill. Clemens is still producing light cap, which is making his army a bit more tankier. I do like it. It's not straight all but here. Yeah, and Lapash struggling right now to get back to 200 oh, yeah. pop. This last yeah. few minutes, he's dropped to 30. He did get some the big destroying, upgrades during that. Yeah, destroying that right castle leaves the right side of Clem's base totally unprotected. Okay. Like, yep. look at the raiding chances. The yeah, yeah. And, and the raids are going to start. This is what I say. Now that it's not these valuable gold units, he's going to start throwing raids at Clem's. And look, Clemens has probably even been thinking, like, Ben, why haven't you been raiding me? <laughs> yeah, indeed. He'll, he'll even say that later. Why didn't you raid me? And now he is. He's like, oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> and if you look at the gold situation for Clemens, Paper all of his money. Gold... Paper Let's money. Go. Ooh. Let's go. Clemens doesn't have any gold on the map. And the past still has some. But he's got paper money. He's got gold yeah, everywhere. Change a lot. Look at his gold uh, uh, in count. Now that it's in. Wow. The I trickle. It it's relics too. Much, yeah. I don't think it does that much, but it's still nice to have. It's like having five relics in total, I think. We need to see a little bit deeper raids than that. We need to. Uh, yes. Go in, Lapash. Yeah. Get in there. The past doesn't even have to buy quit. Just click them in the base of Clemens. And, <laughs> I don't think he knows about this. The oh, he knows about the juicy farm eco on the right. And he's shifting his push over there. That is all the food eco of Clems. And he's going to raid the left at the same time. Okay, I think Lapash is looking really good right now. If these go in and hurt him. Oh. But he still stays with his ball. Yeah. With the big star. Just go raid. Make stables, make forward stables like Clemens is doing on the left side. Oh, and Clemens is pushing. Get in there. He tries to not uh, counter push, but just to push somewhere else. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot of ills die from Clemens right now. Although Lapash is only at 107. Losing yeah, bills too. Just keep too. the skirm at your castle for Lapash and up raids with the uh, Asar. I've been wanting this eco of Clems to get hit the whole late game. Finally is, it's not a massive raid, but... Well, it's not, no. And this castle for the boss is actually, uh... Very critical. He needs to keep this up. He needs to, to defend this. I don't think he can. Well, all the skirms are dead because, uh... What the position but at the same Just time, Laposh needs to actually stop trickling and get his uh, military numbers back up. Yep. Because he is really dropping on pop. He lost, he, he lost 40 skirmers because he didn't protect the castle. He went to the right side of the woodlark. Yeah, I, I, I think the push on the right wasn't needed. Just raids on the right were needed. Yeah, just keep your skirm at the castle and then go wait with the winter star. Heavy this... plow, let's go. <laughs> Heavy plow. Sean was just mentioning yeah. eco upgrades. Why not? Why not? Clemens is down to 97 bills if you can stabilize this Lapash. And this fight for Clemens is not the best. No, he's good enough. Yeah. He cannot truly really replace this army with Hiziko. True. Yeah, Adel makes... Also, the is only on 30. Adel makes a good point. He, he used all his army to raid earlier. Every cav. Oh, how the hell did Laposh get stables behind Clement's base? You see oh, this? I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, I see it. 
I don't that must have been a random vill that somehow survived all the castles. All the cav archers. I don't I, even Lopash was probably surprised when he had a vill over there. Oh, but this is gonna be bad. I think uh, Lopash is losing this uh, castle. Yeah. Ooh, that castle was so important. Now the CA will move up. Yeah, uh -oh. the entire middle of the eco from Lopash is straight above now. I think he still has a chance if he stabilizes. We need. Didn't he get into help? Oh, he only ever got into pipe. I think he made pipe, but he doesn't have any uh, extra wood. He doesn't have wood either. The it's population been... damage is still higher for the push. Yeah, it's the army right now. If he can stabilize, then I think he has this game. But Clemens almost getting into the breaking point. If he seizes that hill, I don't think he's going to seize it. Laposh is bouncing back right now. Yeah, he is. Trying to snipe those trebuchets again. And there's still gold in the past place. Which is fake. Is it worth losing everything for? I guess it's fine. You're, you're still tied on military. Yeah, you you're fine. remassing your skirms. I keep wanting to see some uh, winged hussars run out of these stables behind Clemens. I never see it. Oh, well, same. But 135 to 93 vil lead, even on military now. More raids will come in. Will, will Clemens ever get his pop back up is the question. And a raid to the... A raid... Yeah, a raid to the left... The hard left would be huge too. So also, Clemens is keeping, keep streamlining scouts into the push base, but Clemens is dead. They shut down instantly. Clemens is dead. Look at look at his main eco. The middle is stalling out. The left is getting raided. I I don't see how you recover here. The push. Well, he's in the rough spots, but the I I think he's. he's dead. I think he's dead. I think the push just turned this around. Wow. One ninety pop to one twenty and plummeting. Yeah, now it's still doing quite rough. Clemens. Yes, it is. You you just look at your eco; it's all idle. And look at look at Clemens' rest. Yeah, that's rough. There's a fifty fill difference. Yep. Yeah, game three hype says Mameluke. Barring some kind of miracle, I, I think uh, yeah. Clemens is dead. Gonna hit 100 pop and probably call it. This is a last desperation move from Clemens with the CA. Yeah, and with the faster skirms, I don't think he can outrun this forever. Oh, no, yeah, the faster. If the skirm, <laughs> that's just like taking no post. So. <laughs> oh no, that's a good point though. The faster skirms really helped. With handling the CA. Yeah, it does. If the Vill, the last eco of Clemens gets hit on the left of the map, he will certainly call it. I would say Lithuania is one of the best day games. Yeah, look at this long distance oh, slumber yeah. camp. It was the winged hussars. We wanted them. We wanted them for so long. We knew once they were in, Laposh would start raiding. And they're just yeah, a good unit. They he should have made them way earlier. Right. Elite Latus or Winter Sar didn't really make a difference for Lepash. Feels like. Because he just needed a meat of an, uh, protection for his scrums. For his traps. Yeah, and there's one reason Clems is playing on right now, and I know who to blame for it. Oh, uh, look at the left. He trapped the CA. That's actually a beautiful play. Really? Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. No, even, uh, They're gonna break know, out. Was, They're gonna break out, but like... <laughs> it's still a beautiful play. I yeah, say. it was. That's hilarious. 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 66 vils, 100 pop. Alright, it is GG, Clems. Yeah, it's GG. I was gonna say, there's only one person to blame why he's still playing right now, and I know who that is. 
Get up. You. Who it is? <laughs> you, oh. you, you cockroach you that it. refuses to die. <laughs> it is your fault. I don't know, you're just so yeah, hard to kill. If anyone's ever in killing position, you always find a way to, like, rat it out. You have to respect it. Could be like, a good yes, I do. I do respect it. it. It's always better to lose of win. Uh, winning a game you were, were behind, the entire game is way more satisfying than an easy game or something like that. Yeah, Clemens respects it, too. Game. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows. He's like, well, Finneth would actually maybe get back in here, but once you're below 100 pop, it is yeah. over. 77 APM. Woo. He clicked. Sick game, honestly. That was... Both players were in trouble different times. What the hell is this on the... And I would say in both games, you can see the strengths and the weaknesses of the players. Like, uh, the Pasco has a very fast uptime with the Castle Age and uh, stuff like that. But... Clemens is queuing up uh, military way more than the push. So those two are very competitive with each other. Yeah, and Adel, it's not over. Oh, epic game, yeah. Epic set, it's still an epic set. APM 66, 67. Dude, look at this graph. So the military at a minute five about was 87, 66 Laposh. About four huh. minutes later, it goes to sixteen fifty three. There's just this like <laughs> yeah, massive... that was the moment he lost all of his scrum. Yeah, that was I... the moment he was. Uh, we can look actually. Fighting his army. Is that what it was? So this is right, after it all be. died. It yep, you're right. It, bye bye army. Yeah, that was a really weird play from the past because he it's got like leads here. Everything dies. I thought he was yeah. in big trouble when this happened, because it's like, oh man, it was close and you're dead. Yeah, his traps are on the on the right side and protected. His guns are protected. Massive it flip. Felt like, yeah, it kind of felt like a throw, but he took it back from there. Yeah. Let's go look at the draft, pay some points. Somebody bet big on the posh. So, kiddo. I think you're losing some money. If you're here. <laughs> He's mad. Damn it, I lost all these points. <laughs> so stupid about it. So stupid. Clemens had it. I, I, I saved so many time for this, those points. <laughs> Shit. I need some kid. I need some kiddo tods, honestly. There's so many of them in the other server. Yeah, Mike? they are. <laughs> Yeah, Mega Random Game 3, good point. That's going to be super interesting. That's also the first pick gone for both of them. And look into the sifts. It should be Byzantines against Turks, I think. If though, I would uh, play Cabrera here. Mer versus yeah, Sarah say, and Biz. I would say Byzantines. Byzantines is a little bit more versatile. Water, oh, I got rid of Magyars. Steps. Oh, no, oh, this is Laposh, man. He is obsessed with Magyars. I, I got rid of the wrong Civ. Um, I think he might go Magyars just because it's Laposh. But I agree, Byzantines are great on Mega Random. I don't like Magyars on, uh, on Mega Random. Hmm. Kind of weird if it's a close map or water map yeah and we don't know what it's gonna be they don't know i that's why i like Kamur. your clemens they can just do a lot of different stuff yeah all of it's uh, actually kind of versatile all yeah hi Idar is calling saracens burmese all right mm. let's get the big prediction out the series winner I'll be right back. Okay. Who will advance to the finals? We will find out in what? Tune in, in tomorrow. Minutes. It's been a great stream. No, I was kidding. Um, Laposh or Clements, who's going to the finals? We will find out in about an hour or so from now when this game is over.
And it looks like the other game... I'm, I'm really hyped for uh, Mega Random though. Could be anything. Could be like two TCs uh, close to each other with big lames and... Yeah, I don't know, big feudal play. Been a mix really of a hyped. lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Yep, 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 definitely. And there's still a big game, I think, today that will happen. They haven't scheduled it. It could possibly be tomorrow, but I think it'll be today. Lily Bear and Archer. But just great TV. I'm I'm loving these events because it's so many games back to back to back. It's quick. We get to see the winner fast. It doesn't drag on. Everyone has been awesome about scheduling. Definitely. They are motivated to play these. Yeah. They really take care of it. It sounds like you're kind of excited to play in uh, one soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would like to. It's exactly the type of format that I want to improve. Yeah, game is up. Game three, prediction is underway. Who's advancing Ooh, to the finals? So what do we have? Byzantines, Some kind of Turks. It is acclivity, pretty much. Yeah. Like a really Although cool acclivity cannot... with a massive hill. Ooh. Is there no boars? That's a low gold map, and actually I do not like uh, the patch uh, maps. All of the gold, all of golds are in the same spot. Like one castle could get... Uh, this is really crappy patch. gold too, the, the gold. shape of it to the wood mm -hmm. line. Yeah. So what are the sieves? Ooh, okay, okay. That's this... uh, a real match there. Byzantines against Turks. This is a sick map. I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit slow because there is no boar apparently. I've never seen this map before. Out of all the mega randoms, I don't think yeah, I've same. ever seen this one. Do they ever just add brand new ones to it that haven't existed uh, before? I think so. I think there's also a probability of having a most common uh, mega random maps also. Something mm. like that. So. Yeah, all gold are exposed, basically, for uh, both players. Yeah, aggression is going to be and key you here. you know what? If it's the case, then the Byzantine should be a bit favorite, because uh, gold is not the the issue of a Byzantine, since he can rely on flash units. Each player has three relics pretty much at their base, too. Yeah. Now, Laposh just starting to push in deer. Clemens has already pushed in two now. It's very important also, on this map to get those deer in it, right away. Yeah. Also, you um, know what? It could be a wood game quite fast because there's not that much uh, wood here. Like, compared to Arabia or, uh, I don't know, Black Forest, of course, there's not that much wood. Yeah, Titanic says he likes Biz here more. Hydra says this mega random is quite common in team games. Who do you like more here, mm. uh, Feneth? We got Byzantines for Laposh, Turks for Clemens. Uh, it's all depending on the approach. I think if uh, <coughs> Turks are going for forwards, like I guess on this hill, between the bases, I would uh, say Turks, but Byzantine late game is way better, of course. Yeah, Byzantines are tough to deal with. They get a cheap imp too, that can be super annoying. Like Laposh, I like this, he milled the deer. It's just so many push to push, it's too many to ever get them all in. So yeah. one one group is getting them pushed and one of them's eating them. He's very lucky because he has uh, almost them in the same uh, group. While, right. Uh, Clements has two group of deers. That's yes. Oh, true. So now he's milling his poor berries, poor man, man. Actually, such ah, a... it's still <laughs> fine. Uh, I do prefer. Uh, yeah, the plus with that. situation is a little bit better. Yeah, but... They're also a lot more I dangerous think... for Clemens to go out and mill that far away. Seems like the Poshas were closer almost. Look where but... they are compared to each other. I think they are not gonna explore the, each other very fast. They think they are at the opposite, probably. That's yeah, a good it's point. Be super funny. They're like as they close as the right and the the left. I mean the bottom, both of them. They're as close as they could possibly be. The other interesting yeah. thing is, look at the gold on Clemens' side. It's kind of staggered across the whole thing. Where, 
Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm blind. It was mixing in with the dirt. There is some for Laposh down there too. Oh, yeah, true. But it is more staggered even for though, Clems. Yeah, but even though the the DS are in the favorites for Laposh, like the rest of the base is in favor of Clemens. If you can look at the the walling he has to do, it's, it's just little, and I don't think Laposh can ever get the full wall. Ooh, Ooh that's Clemens a could good get a point. Full wall. Yeah, a very oh. easy full wall even. Clemens is up first. That's... But 10 That's seconds even idle. extremely unfair because Clemens could wall to the edge and Ben cannot at all because there <gasps> yeah, is this true. little uh, oh. ground. And knowing all right, how I'm gonna actually play this I, game, I, I'm gonna call an admin. Marie. I'm gonna call it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it <laughs> wouldn't be it. totally unfair to make it an admin, but it's, I think I, you should let this play on. Yeah, I think yeah. it's too late. But this is this is actually when you pointed out the edge. That's that's a clear no, advantage. No, but Mamluk is right. Actually, he can not wall to the edge too. I don't see if you see, but there is a little bit of ground for. Uh, no, uh, he can Clemens wall there. Unwalled ground, unwallable ground for Clemens too. Wait, I, I think he can wall this. I, I know at least on Clemens? the left he I don't can. Think so there is this little. Uh... You think it's yeah, unwallable? Yeah, it's only on ten percent of the the tile, so I don't think it's not wallable. Okay, okay. Okay, master. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we will see. <laughs> you wanna bet? You wanna bet? I yeah, hope sure. it's not wallable. <laughs> nice, yeah, I uh... hope so too. It will be more even if it's not. Mamluk's saying he's 90% sure he cannot wall that. I think he might be right, because like there is... It's not just grass. It's there. It isn't my yeah, we'll Mamluk 1200? Something like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. The BM. Grudge match, uh, grudge yeah. match. <laughs> He's like, anytime, kiddo. Let's go. <laughs> Where you want, when you want. <laughs> Look I at Clements. If, uh, this is. Fast could only He's... fully go for. You see what Clemens did? He actually pushed two Ibex forward and he's letting them rot. But it's like, why not? At least they're there, available. Nah, I like Clemens. You should do this. Because you cannot spend too much time pushing in your there. Yeah, okay. Chat is saying it's unwallable. So I, I don't think there's anything broken here. Okay, we'll see. And Kiddo's actually right. They are both <laughs> scouts in the right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I told you. The they will never discover each other. Is he yeah. pushing me? <laughs> is going to go south. Lapaz to yeah. the right. Like, what the hell? He's like, is he, on, is he on my <laughs> side? <laughs> he's thinking, he's, it's like, he's on my <laughs> side? Are you kidding me? Bro, look at Lapach. It's like I f I uh, searched everywhere, but I still cannot find him. <laughs> well, I mean, Clemens is gonna go south with yeah, all his scouts, and Lapash is now thinking he's next to him. He's, he's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, he's literally right next to me on the other corner." <laughs> yeah, Clemens is going back to his own. Man. Clemens gonna is, do the same. This actually. is too funny. <laughs> he is. He's gonna be. Oh, he's on my side. Look at Clemens too. He's probably gonna turn to the right. <laughs> Once he doesn't see anything. Dude, I think you're right. And especially now he sees the scouts of Lepage. He, he, he thinks oh, he's gonna run home. Oh. He's running home. He's like, okay, Lepage ran home. He must he be to the right. Him. He runs home. <laughs> Wait, does Clemens know? I don't think so. He's not a stream cheater. No, no, he's not. He's not cheating, but it seems <laughs> no, like he no. kind of... Maybe he knows the map. He's like, he's not on my side. Oh, he is over he here. He doesn't see that. And he's going to the right. Yeah, now he's finding us. Lapash is also finding us. Yeah, there's already a free spare in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Bison's in power here. Right, yep. cheap spears. I don't know about this engage. Actually, the spears didn't fight together. That's about as good of an engagement as Clemens could have ever hoped for. Mm. Yeah, he yeah, one by yeah, one killed them. Cool. It's still worth for uh, Clemens, I think. Because it really doesn't cost a lot, and he can fight back with Vils now. And look, he cannot wall to the edge. They were right. He's already tried yeah, it. True. Still, Good. he can fully wall his base. Good call, chat, on the, the edge. Chat is always right, apparently. That would have been the worst admin ever. Guys, your map's broken. <laughs> 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 and it's not. And I would really love for Clemens to go for a castle. No, for <laughs> castle on this on this hill. Make the judiciary and go for 
siege. Because there's no way Byzantines can defend from that. Even with monks, they have pretty good monks, right? Redemption. Uh, yeah, but play. the rates of the Janissaries, and I don't Extra. think they can really easily defend with monks. Hmm. How is there a two build difference right now? I guess it's idle time. It's Clemens has a lot of idle time since the beginning of this series. But he has 300 yeah, more res collected. Weird. Yeah, but I was noticing a little bash at like eight idols for a minute straight. Okay. Because he's not shift keying anything. Ooh, oh, just like last to, game. To... Okay, now we got nine idols at the moment. This like, is... this shift key everything, then you have never got that many items. Yes, know. like select all. Or shift, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I no. get it. Yeah, shift, task them. Need more? Oh, the spears. No, the spears, he's roasting him right now for making so many spears. <laughs> and Clemens is up. He actually ecoed very behind, well behind this one. Yeah. Will Barrel comes in, he's going to click. Laposh, I guess, is right behind with some market use. So same time. time. Same time. Wow. Oh, that's these so the these two are such a good matchup. Yeah. But what is Clemens gonna do now? It feels like he's not gonna go for the series. Yeah, I don't think so on this map. He should. And that's just right. Yeah, going camels. Like, uh, Lapache camels are cheaper. True. Go CA is a possibility, but... Yeah, you know what? Sure. What is he gonna do? It's just a stable right now. It feels like TCs and like knights. At least at the moment. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really know. I think we're Way gonna see two TCs. Does he? Well, with that much wood, he will go for multiple TCs. Yeah, which I don't hate, because Lepage is not going for map awareness, like he never does. Now going for the stable, so it's probably camels for Lepage. Lepage has much better scouting this game. Yeah, and second stable for Clement, so it's going to be a camel fight. Funny thing is, Lepage's scouting is so Lepage. his scouting so good <laughs> this game because it took forever to find Clements. Yeah, it's actually yeah, good thing for him. But if Byzantines get a castle up that hill, it's going to be very difficult. It could go for a uh, fast imp. He could go for a fast imp with a castle on the hill. <coughs> Some sort of play like that. Yeah. I don't think you need to rush it though. Like, and the other thing... At least how Clemens made his buildings. Yeah, Clemens is closer to the hill where the castle would threaten all these buildings. Where Clemens mm. put a castle, it's nowhere near any of uh, Lapache's base. <coughs> Definitely. But Clemens is playing this as Byzantines, like on camels and monks. <laughs> now he added a range, he added a second TC, he gets free light cap upgrade instantly, which he's going for. Okay, maybe he's going CA. It's like light late CA. CA. I like it, because you can even mix in knights or whatever, some double gold to deal with um, Byzantines. Let me check. Uh, resources collector are uh, much higher for Clements. Yeah, because of the idle more. villages. Way too many mm. idle villages for the push. Yeah. Second I'm just trying to break in. I don't think this gets in, but it's he's been getting in throughout the series. Now again, like, you got so many idle um, military, Lepage. Second TC just now going up for Lepage. He still has... Actually, no, he doesn't have Billy because Will Barrel is in for... Oh, no, they both have Will Barrel. Where the experience uh, shines a bit for Clemens. He knows exactly what to do at which timing. Yeah. He knows a bit more how to macro-manage. A like. second range... Uh Okay, and also the CA. APM for Clemens is higher. Yep. 
And he's going into doing more. Going into his famous CA. <laughs> I do not like the CA choice against Byzantine. No, there are so many answers. Well, like camels, cheap skirm. Yeah. Can't really engage these light cav with just two camels. But that's the thing with uh, Turks against Byzantines. If Turks don't go for their judiciaries, then everything they make are counterable by Byzantines. You know what? CA could be really annoying on this map. A lot of spots to hit. The posh has that back wood line, although it's got enough gap for the CA can't kill them. That's true. He walled it well. It wasn't just like a little bit of walling. Yeah, this forward CC is also protecting lots. Yeah, uh, especially against CA. I like it a lot. Yeah, this is very good. Very good to see. Right? So I good... would like both of them to go for a stone. And make a castle in the middle. I think this will be very important in this map. I have a good feeling about Laposh's position and the units right now. This jump on the light cab, almost jump. Ooh. He hasn't revealed the CA yet either, but it's like, it's not that big of a deal because Laposh has camels, which are decent. He can get into skirm so easily with Byzantines. And uh, now all the light cav are dying. Yeah, he got a lot of camels. But Plymouths could click up very, very soon, I think. He yeah. has the buildings. He has but clicking up doesn't do anything for him. I, I mean, for yeah, Bracer, it's true. What does it actually Bracer, do? Yeah, but he's only on 54 villages. Yeah, it's some sort of fast. I would say. It's like a yeah, situation yeah, where he, he he could click because he yeah. feels like he has the res too. But what does it really do? Like Brace is nice, but you prefer to have like 10 more CA than. I mean, he he has bracers and chemistry instantly, right? So. Just imagine this. I feel like he doesn't want to show these CA, but he should shoot these camels, honestly. He's not he's hiding them. It's so interesting. What do you think about hiding the CA this whole time? I don't hate it actually. Do not hate it because there's not a lot of points where he can attack Lepash. Mm. And contesting those camels, the camels are not doing anything, so. He is gonna go for imp. He has the buildings, he gotta mark it. Yeah, yeah. and right. he's gonna have chemistry and bracer right away. Which is gonna be, he's probably full for the camels. Alright, Clemens moving forward. This is gonna be the first time Laposh knows about these. Because yeah. every range Surprised. is hidden out of his view. Yeah, now I don't I hate... Yeah. I don't hate the going imp play. Laposh won't be far behind. <laughs> the Byzantine cheap imp. If he, he wants to go out. So By the way, he has some patrol, remember, so he will be able to spot any CA movement. I mean, he's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's true. This is up to Imp. That's gonna be uh, quite nice for him. Yeah, absolutely keep this mass alive. I hope he has husbandry, because otherwise he will get cleaned. It looks like it, yeah. This imp timing is going to surprise Laposh a lot. Yeah, he's making armor, making more camels. Yep. I don't even think he need more camels. If he Just knew he, he was up, I think he would go up himself. Oh yeah, he would definitely die with this. Oh yeah, Malik's got a good point. The castle's prepped soon from Clemens. Maybe a few more on yeah. stone. Laposh is but you mining. cannot really make a castle while there is uh, that many camels. Many camels. Passing. True. No, but, but it has to be at home or racer? you have to bait. Oh, um, this is going to be close, Clemens. That oh, this is, is going to be good. Risky. For that is probably some sort of flow here. 
right you before amp. No, no, why fighting? Why you could have? Brace There's no way to wall it in, unfortunately, for Laposh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but the but the clogging it up. Oh this man. Is, oh, the this is terrible. Gosh. Right before it's amp. Making more, so it's fine probably, but. It's making more, so it's fine. <laughs> Just, just, just replace the one who, who fell on the field, guys. Posh <laughs> is getting more upgrades. He needs to go amp. And now he, he's gonna go up himself. Buy a little bit of food. Does he have the buildings? He needs a second building, actually. I'm bringing he's coming. Make, he's making skin instead of going up. He just doesn't realize that Clemens is up oh, now. Right he now. Does. <laughs> now he makes the university. University. So the villagers are coming forward to make the castle. Look at this castle oh. from Clems. Oh, but he's still losing the uh, CA. I don't think that castle can go there. I think it needs to be up on the hill, if anything. Also four monks there, so... Uh, he can make it. He the monks are out of position. Oh, this is bad for him. He could have oh, actually maybe sniped for Posh. Oh, Laposh getting his castle up first. I was not realizing... Oh man, this is a huge mm -hmm. moment right now. The posh has not clicked yeah. imp yet. Oh, look. But why make it on the eco? Just make it in the middle of the. Look at Clem's gonna lose all these vills. Cancel the castle. That's a big mistake. That's a big throw right there. posh has this. He's gonna oh. be imp soon himself. It's not over, but man, it went bad quick for Clemens. Well, still, if Clemens makes the castle in the middle of the. And, of, like on the big hill, then he can push you, the posh look, castle back. But. Yeah, posh can't close. throw all these numbers out though. You 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 got what you needed. You're buying your time. These have bracer. They have chemistry. You gotta be careful right now with your numbers. I guess he'll go full yeah. skirm now. Yeah, I love this for the posh. He should actually make chemistry and just make a uh, few siege ramps of uh, workshops on the on the right of this castle. Just need to make sure that you don't fight from Tower Hill. Just go to the right of the castle of uh, Clemens. It's actually huge how much he's stalling this castle, but I think now you just l concede. Let it go up. Byzantine castle downhill versus Turk's castle uphill. Yeah, I hate the fucking positioning of the the Pash castle. I, I loved it though at the time because it countered Clemens' castle. Now it's, it's not okay, a good it's position. It's on a little hill if you pay attention. <laughs> yeah, a it's little not, you know. it's okay it's okay imagine if elevation it's... made it more damage based on how much higher like this castle is oh, almost my God. the, the base of it's like map. the height of the top of the other castle well clemens need to see workshop there for bombards also the bombard bombard. Is against the against the elite scar yeah would be great i think he will but yeah, yeah 80. <laughs> which position do you guys prefer I still like Lapash's position. Yeah, okay, too. I I think overall game wise, Lapash like this castle obviously position is better for Clemens. Yeah, I also like 20 fill leads, missing leads. I think Lapash shoots. Be favored. Yeah, he's gonna have the camels for the the hussar and the skirms for the CA and also camels for CA. Okay, but I would say don't even repair this castle. Just let it go down. Make a few traps, go to the right, make these workshop, make a second guess on this hill, and go from there. Don't He's trapping the castle? Yeah, he's on hill. There he is. Oh, yeah. Laposh is seeing the score, and he knows he's ahead. Now, Clemens is known for these raids, although there's camels in the eco at home to deal with these few hussars coming in. And this is pretty much the same scenario as the previous game where Clemens is on Cav Archers oh. and uh, Lapache is on Cav and oh, Clemens loses the trap because it wasn't the, the range of the Bracer oh. Castle. Oh my god. That's and now Lapache is going to lose his trap, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but... that's sick for him. No murder rolls. What Wait. a mistake. <laughs> what a mistake. Oh, no. It's what similar to last game. It... Just go for the for the hill. You need to go for the hill, the push. 
Okay, you don't have to force this, but he's got like the late game sim again, it feels like. To deal with this. Yeah, but he's sort of forcing Oscar. this fight. That went really well for Clemens. Um, these skirms don't have final armor. Yeah, he, he keeps throwing army. I guess it's like sort of helping him win the castle fight. That's true, that's true. Clem is gonna repair now. Which he absolutely shoots. Is it gonna be in time? Here comes the bills. Maybe just in time. Yeah, he'll keep this castle Maybe. up for a while. And both of them are not making bomb kills. That's kind of a mistake. And that would have been huge if Apache actually killed that castle, but I think you're right. Bombards. More skirms. Final armor is really important on the skirms too. Yeah, it's true. And also, look how open Clemens is again. Like, Clemens is trying to raid, but Lepash isn't. Like, making light cap for Lepash, and then just go raid to Wonders for him. But it just looks like Clemens is losing this castle. Yeah. Yep. And if he loses it, then it's replaced by uh, a Byzantine castle on this hill, game is over. You can yeah, I think so. Does Lepash have stone? Where's his stone at? Is this a very low stone map? Oh, is that stone behind the ca No, that's gold, right? Yep. He's making a different castle on the right. I think he's a little bit scared of the raids. And he's going to take more stone. I would have loved the castle on this hill right now, but... Yeah, but look at the military cards. It's 22 against 57. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty over now. Yeah, it's yeah, in the sieve. The CA numbers are only 23 at the back of Lapash's base. And Clemens is wide open. There's nothing in Clemens' base. Don wants some siege from Lapash. Oh man, the base is so exposed. I think this is over. Lapash yeah. going in the finals. Yeah. Can't. I think so too. Chance to be king. What an upset in a way. We all, I mean, everyone picked Clemens to win this whole thing. Yes. You said Lepage, right? Don't you change your decision? I, I changed <laughs> it because Clemens' game. tone. Yes. But I said if Lepage plays like he did yesterday and Clemens do, Lepage wins 2 1. And I shouldn't oh, have changed so now you're it. Back to it. I shouldn't have changed it. <laughs> Just because Clemens came and sounded all confident, I changed it. But Lepage, this, this is like yesterday, man. Look, Clemens played decent yesterday. Lapache played incredibly well. And here we are again. Yeah, I think uh, Clemens made the wrong call by going for the military edit. And also going with always CA, CA around the base of Lapache before hitting Imp was a big mistake. You were right about Janissaries too, I think. In this matchup, I would say so. Like seeds, this this series, there's nothing to grab. This can do. And this castle on the right looks really good from Lapash now. As so those CA ran up and said, "Oh, damn it." Yeah. Lapash just hates to make a castle in the middle. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. Yep. And Clemens is like, "Man, I just want to find damage, and I just can't find anything." It's 51 to 10, Eco KD. Look it's GG, Clemens is calling this 87 pop. Yeah, he should. Wow, Lapaz has got to be feeling great right now. But I, in a way, not a surprise. Fully, I'm saying upset, but you, we talked about it. Lapaz played incredible <laughs> yesterday. You said Clemens has been off. Do you see this table? Yeah, the patch. And the GG is called. GG, Lapaz on to the finals. Wow. You know he's feeling great. He almost he was like a last minute sign up too. He took my spot. It's like, yeah, yeah, Lapash, you play. You're you're more ready rusty than I am rusty, and clearly I would not be uh going to the finals right now, I can guarantee that. And he kept his queue up for this game. Like he made a lot of military. This is very good. Yeah.
It's like he got stronger as the set went on. Yep. So interview? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <clears throat> They're both in there. We'll, we'll just interview both. All right, let's do it. Why not? <laughs> no. Hello. 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 Hey, guys. Insane set. And yes. kind of an upset to most of us. Because most people picked Clemens to win this whole thing. So very well played, Labash. Thank you. And I, I heard, I was watching the stream before it started because Clemens was AFK. Was and cheating, you man. ditched me, Spencer. You ditched me. I switched. I, I know. Clemens popped in. And I'm like, you know what? He sounds so confident today. He's, he's going to be better <laughs> than yesterday. And I think he was still good. But you just yes. played very well. Thank you. Yep. Pretty much. So, how does it feel to betray your friends, the posh? Everyone. But how do you feel about the games, the posh? Because uh, first game, you got defeated. First game up. felt kind of rough. First game, I felt behind in most of the game. Well, oh, first game, um, I I know what I did wrong. I essentially I got complacent at the start of Castle Age because I did some damage. And stopped making military for a while and didn't rest into eco and yes, like yes, fired you massively. Did. You did. Um, and that just just that one time where he got into my eco with all those knights took too long to clear, lost too many builds, and from then on it was just an uphill battle. Yeah, it was the same as the Mines game. That was, was the mine game. game. That was oh, the uh, mine game, yeah. And also the second game. Like at some point you stop creating the military and then uh yeah, Clemens got the best of rate on you. At least that game you could pull it back, but like the military, no, no, the, 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 second, a rough. I, the second game, I wouldn't say it was, it clearly wasn't the same. Um, cause yes, you got in, but it was just as I had imp and I had enough army. I had the same amount of army, even more, I think. Uh, so I could easily clear it. It's just, he got in, obviously did some damage, killed Bills, but he, uh, he also lost his army in, in the meantime. What was about attack switching? Was yeah, game exactly. you didn't care about that army anymore. Was so game was one a warm up Laposh or had you played today? Uh I played against <sighs> Kenneth okay. one or two games, I can't remember, and against the AI a little bit, but Clemens uh, warm up. I still I I didn't feel not warmed up. I just okay. made bad decisions. Clemens got in constantly just like killing houses with scouts or like yes. walls with knights. We were shocked. Every time he did it, it's like he got in again and again and again. And we were we were a little surprised. We're like, yeah, these this should be kept out. So I don't know if focus wasn't fully there or what, but that's why he killed you. Were, yeah, yeah. Um I think I kept a lot out kinda, but uh two times he got in without me noticing and that hurt obviously. I think it was like four Maybe. or five, wasn't it guys? It was yeah. a lot. Yeah, I lost count, yeah. I lost count. Yeah. yeah. Might have only it was felt a like rough two. Game for me. Yes, certainly. And we know how much Clemens can punish when he gets into bases and starts raiding and doing his thing. Yep. Yeah. And how about you, Clemens? Do you think your friendship will ever recover from this defeat? <laughs> Never. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> no, just kidding. Also, last minute sign up, Lapage. How does it feel now to know that you have a chance to win this whole thing? It feels good. <laughs> I like it. I bet. I like I like win -win games. And then, <laughs> as I said before, as I said before, I just I just have more focus when it's when something's on the line of you. There's like a switch that flips, and I know from playing with you on your team, or just these one v ones, even the original summer slapdown one v one. Something activates yeah. in you when it's a tournament game. I don't know if it's your inner German or what, but something. <laughs> the inner German. <laughs> something happens. I think it's full German. <laughs> yeah. I, I must say, especially the last game, the last game was clean. Yeah, but that was also kind of Sifwini, I think. Byzantines are just really strong against Turks, I'd say. Yeah, um, we we were thinking if uh, Clemens would go forward castle on the hill with Janissaries and uh, Siege, it that would be strong, very yeah. strong, but... Uh, like I can still make skirms against the uh, Siege. Yeah, could have been strong, I don't know. 
Redemption think Monks and Skirm? Basically, that will be answers. But I think the uh, the Hassa CA comp is not the play against Byzantines because Skirm, Camel, I just get full discount. But it's all the Turks have, yeah, unless true. I'm clouding with a unique unit. Yeah, no. That's what That's why I say Fennet it's, was it's wanting. Or you have to win in Cast Light or something, I don't know. Or on yeah, Fennet won a unique unit. Yeah, against true. Biz. Also, just the, the massive fill between you guys, like... I, I guess so there, so important. I didn't find your base for so long. We were laughing. You guys, you guys did the same thing. We were laughing about it. Thank you. Did you both of you were scouting. No, you both of you were scouting the the far right, even though you were <laughs> right next to each other. <laughs> and then, yeah, like Laposh, I think you had a moment like, "Wait, is he on my side?" And you went back over the hill. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went back as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was too funny. <laughs> Yeah, weird map. <laughs> yeah, true. So, Clemens, for you, what's your decision to go Mega Random? Just to have some fun with it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I was, I was typing uh, after the first game. Um, essentially, if we get first, they said, uh, "Please lose. I want to play Mega Random." <laughs> 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 and then I said, um, "If I lose, uh, do we play all three? And so we would have played all three. If oh, I, nice. Uh, I would have lost 2-0. Oh, that's fucked. Because I also wanted to play Mega Random. I think it's a very fun map. Yeah. And we were even discussing how maybe, like, BO5s could be optional for this, but it almost seems too much in such a short time to have round one and two be BO5s. Maybe with yeah, Friday just a weekend games. tournament, it's it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, this set alone, it was three games, but it felt very long. Yeah, the second game was very long. Yeah, and this one also went to mid imp. Like, imagine if you guys had to play two more games right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm energized currently. I think one <laughs> one more would be no problem, but if that's a long one, the the not, uh, the next one would have been rough, I guess. Right. But tomorrow it will be BO5, and congratulations on making it Thank to you. the finals. Chance to be king of the underground. Looking forward to see who I'm up against. Anyway, who won the other set today? So, uh, Lily Bear. It was round it. one earlier. <coughs> and the semis haven't been played yet, right? Yeah, and they might not be played till like tomorrow morning, possibly. That's so. Fine. Yeah, so you guys might have to do your BO5 after that game. And it's Sunday, so we're just chilling. It'll work out. Yeah, that's fine for me. As long as it's not too late, because I will have to work, work it Monday, obviously. Right. It might even be, like, late America time and early Euro time. I, I got to look at their chat and what they were saying, but we'll see. Yeah, just text me. Yeah. Anyways, um, great set, you two. It's cool that you got to duke it out against each other, two friends, enemies for a couple hours. Felt like some great games. Really well played from, Cl really well played from Clemens as well. Yeah, the banter was enough. pretty funny too. No easy. <laughs> I think he was laughing at how many spears you made too this final game. I mean, it's Byzantines. Yeah. What else is it to do? <laughs> it's like, you need more. Or whatever you said. It was something like that. Pretty funny. But, yeah. Congrats. I guess you got time to chill. Watch the next set whenever it is. It might be tomorrow. It probably will be. And then, uh, yep. BO5 between you and either Lily Bear or Archer. I'm looking forward to it. Nice. All right. I'm going to hop up in the casting booth and uh, update the brackets. I'll see you, uh, Clems and uh, Laposh. Casters, you guys can yep. come back if you want for a moment or whatever. GG's. 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 Yeah. GG's. Yeah. All righty. Brackets. The big moment. And for some reason, my brackets are bugged. So I have to screen share, it looks like. Okay. So, a 2-1 between Clems and Laposh. We've had a lot of 2-1s. 
Samuel Clemens went to game three. Clemens Laposh went to game three. Meisel Archer game three. Only 2-0 was Lucifer Laposh and Lily Bear and Kyrie. But we're just waiting on this match now. I will ping you guys in the Discord whenever that may be. I think it's going to be tomorrow. And then obviously the big BO5 match between um, Laposh and the winner. Archer Reno, I forget. No, you're not Bowman, right? You're not Archer. Isn't Bowman on Twitch Archer, if I'm not mistaken, or is it you? You are him. Okay. I haven't seen chat. Are you guys planning on playing tomorrow, today? Let me take a look. I can play tonight. That would be six. Did you also give the ports, uh, Spartan, sir? Oh, the points. She offered me 6 a hand for me. I think that's impossible. That's hard. I don't think I gave the points. Yeah, uh, it's just, uh, AM is the doable. Yeah, that's just brutal. I understand. <coughs> this particular game was too late for me. I, I get it. I get it. We'll make it happen. It's not like it's a... This isn't the um, Swiss stage of a slapdown tournament where we just give admin losses because the show must go on. But who did you bet on for that final game? Um, oh, you can't. Never mind. Yeah, I, I actually got both of the wrong, I think. <laughs> oh, no, no, I got uh, uh, Bowman through, but I thought Lily B would lose. Oh, yeah, let's look at those overall predictions. Winning that right now. I think I'm not. <laughs> so. The Pash would lose this one. Let's see. I have three, my potential's five. I've got two. <laughs> oh, baby. You're two with a oh, potential. Oh, baby! Of two. So you're eliminated from uh, being able to win. MT and the Pash. Who did they pick? They both. Samuel's out, so MTE can't be right on the finals. Clemens is out, so I can't be right. What's left? Oh, I picked Archer over Lily Bear? Is that what happened? Yeah, but so did Lepage, so I think you already won, right? Did I just win no matter what? <laughs> yeah, I think you wow. won. <laughs> Two weeks in a row, let's go. <laughs> it's a little Mammal bit sus. Man, we're trying to call me a sheep that goes with the flock when I'm making all the right picks. Let's go. I said that, right? Oh, I, I, I saw it in the chat. No, I, oh. I am kicking myself for just making a, a change because of how Clement sounded. That's stupid. I should have stuck to my guns. <laughs> you just you sounded... would be the only one who was right, actually. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm bummed, because usually I do stand against uh, the people what my gut says but my damn gut said for some reason Clemens is confident and he's gonna win nope no. anyways um anything to add is Clemens still streaming we could raid yeah it's got see. eight viewers so Clemens got eight right now yep you know what guys it's been a great stream there's gonna be more to come that is an interesting screen to look at look it's gonna keep going to infinity Oh, I can spin yeah. the mouse. It's a big spiral. Inception. Look at that. Inception. It's a spiral that never ends. Or the other way. I don't drugs! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> and the tunnel, it's turning. Look at the tunnel. <laughs> it's like we're, we're taking a big right turn. It's infinity into infinity. Into <laughs> right? Infinity. Into infinity, into infinity, into infinity. That is too funny. Okay, we're going to raid uh, Lemons. I'll see you guys um, next time. Tomorrow, actually. Thanks for casting, Feneth. Kiddo, I think you're already gone. And yeah, it uh, it's been a lot of fun. This yeah. whole series. Babes. The king or well, queen will be crowned tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I think. The sets. Especially the final. Oh, yes. The final, too. It's all been pretty yeah. damn good matches. This has been a better one than last week. For how competitive they've been but anyways yeah, see ya. So, yeah. raid is in all right bye bye ggs